Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we have another frame and this is from iFlight. It's called the XL5 and this is a five inch quad and they're calling it the lowrider freestyle frame. So this one is pretty sweet. It actually comes in a five inch, six inch and even a seven inch. So here we have the five inch currently and the arms look pretty darn thick here. So let's just actually quickly just start actually just measuring this stuff because it seems pretty thick here. So it's four millimeters, so you're getting four millimeters, four millimeter arms, and here you can see the cuts, they're very clean. So it's not sanded down, but that's totally fine, so well, maybe to keep cost down, but that's just sweet. I mean, it's, it's very thick. The whole spacing is pretty good here. Here it's a bit close, but that's totally fine. So let's just put these arms on the side. So you do get four arms, you get two side plates for your cameras, or camera mounts, if you want to call them. And these are about 1.5. Let's just double check it. Yeah, 1.5, 1.4, 1.5 millimeters for the camera mounts. And this, I believe, this is the top plate here. And this is a top, yeah, two millimeters. So we got a two millimeter top plate. And this is the, I believe, bottom, bottom plate. Yeah, two millimeters. And this is one of the bottom plates, but I don't know which one yet. Two millimeters, so that's pretty sweet. So it is a low rider, so it's gonna be pretty low. It's gonna be kind of like the Martian in the alien frame. And uh, I might call this the alien killer because it's just it's just so nice and it's going to be low and not fat. And, um, you know, for those people who do love uh, top mounted batteries, you can do that here. And they also give you cutouts if you want to do it through the bottom. So that's also sweet as well. So this guy, we're going to be using him as a top mount battery just to see um, how good he is. And I'm really excited to actually build this guy. This is going to be pretty sweet. So I'm going to put them together real quick. It should be pretty straightforward. And um, yeah, once it's done, I'll be right back and we take one, one last look at it and we just see how much it weighs and see its overall clearance. So give me a moment, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so the frame is pretty much assembled here now. And um, it is a low rider, so that means the top is a little bit lower. So the Martian would be like a lot larger, so it's pretty sweet here. Um, I do love the color scheme going on. We have all kinds of mounting solutions here. And this is meant for actually a top mount battery because, you know, the, even these slits that are open, there's no way to actually go here because the arms interlock right in the middle. And it's very rigid, it's very good. And you do have a lot of mounting solutions, as you can see here. This is the bottom. And up top here, you have a lot. You can have your VTX here. There's no VTX hole, but, you know, you can get creative as you like. I usually don't even use it, so um, this could be good for you, could be bad for you, but it's up to you here. Um, overall it's pretty nice it was very simple to set up you, know, you have yourself locking nuts down here the screws that go up into your standoffs and um, it's very nice I really like it I think this is going to be a pretty clean build um, can't wait to get it flying uh, so let's quickly just check its weight here so we're going to zero out the scale and um, I'm thinking it's going to be less than 120 let's just double check it 114 grams that's not bad at all um, it's a bit on the heavy side but it's expected to these type of uh, freestyle frames so i really do like this um actually i preferred i would prefer to fly this than the martian but i don't know over the flight characteristics just yet and this is a true x so that's going to be pretty sweet as well and um yeah so i really can't wait to get this going so i'm actually I have a couple ideas for this guy uh, maybe we're going to test this guy on him it'll be pretty sweet so he, he's you know I think a maximum of a two stack here would fit. So some kind of form one ESC in a flight controller or all in one flight controller. You could even put a PDB flight controller and then have your ESCs out here. It's up to you. Um, so this is this is pretty awesome. So hopefully we'll, yeah, well hopefully we'll test it very soon. I'm probably gonna have this possibly be the next build on the channel and then we take it out and see its flight characteristics. Um, and that's all I could really say right now guys. So. Um, just wait up and then just wait for the build video and the flight video should be coming up very soon. Overall, it looks nice. It's a nice little freestyle frame. Looks very sturdy, very strong. It is 3K carbon, and it's 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 pretty it's pretty solid. It's pretty pretty damn solid here. And the overall color scheme is pretty nice as well. I mean, um, it just adds a little nice touch to it. So, um, yeah, well, that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.